Hi there you guys! Valentine's Day is coming and I'm coming with the idea for the gifts or to make your own jewelry for this beautiful holiday. Okay, so now here I'm showing a Delica Beads bracelet. It's easy to make. I provide the pattern and show step by step. So I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. Ask me anything in the comments. I will be so happy to answer to all of your questions. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy Delica beads from, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips. Thank you so much! Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 old Delica beads, red and silver. Here I use toggle clasp and two jump rings. You could use any type of clasp you like. This is a pattern that I provide and you will see all the time here at this corner during the video. This is Nemo beading thread that is 0.2 millimeters, which is size D. This is a nylon thread. You could use fire line or other beading thread you like. And here I'm using size 10 beading needle, scissors, and these are pliers. Down there in description, I have a link where you could buy Delica beads from and they deliver worldwide. So now I'm going to take two feet of thread on my needle, which is about 60 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and here I have my pattern that you will also see here at this corner but I'll start my work from here. So now the pattern will be turned in this direction. And now guys how I started. I started with the familiar break stitch but if you don't know it and if you never heard of it don't worry because I'm showing really slowly and easy and step by step and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. Okay so first I take two of those beautiful seed beads in this red color and I slide those down. And you see, I start from these two beads and after that I will add this one. Okay, so I leave a tail here because later I will put my needle on this side and I will finish my work. I'll show you this. Okay, so now in order to start, I'm making here a loop and a knot, okay, between those two beads. Just like this. Okay, I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. So I put them on my thread and I make knots. Okay, this is the first step. And what I want to do guys is for those beads to stay like this next to each other, like here at my pattern, they are next to each other as you may see. And now I will go through one of them. Okay. Then what I do is that I go back through the other one because I want this first row to be really well reinforced. And after that I pick up just one seed bead and I go back here through this one. And with these guys what I do is that I add here this top bead. And now it comes my next row where I will start my actual brick stitch. I have a red, a silver and a red. Here it's white to be more visible, but I put silver. Okay. So now after I have those first three beads and you will also see it here at this corner. I will take a red and a silver because with the brick stitch I always take first two beads. Okay, and then the other ones. Okay, a uh, red and a silver. First two of my next row and then I go under this thread bridge you see uh, 
here. Between those two red beads, I have a thread bridge and I go under it with my needle and my thread. And then I go through the bead that is closer to the center. In this case, the silver bead. Okay, so now guys, I have this. This is called expanding break stitch because here at this row I have two, then three, then I will have four, and so on and so on. Then it's time to take the last red bead. Okay, I take it. And what I do, guys, is that I go through the same thread bridge that I've just been through. Okay, with my needle. And then again through the bead that I just added. Okay, so this is the brick stitch. This is the expanding brick stitch. And there is a decreasing brick stitch that I'll show later. Okay, so now I'm up to this row. A red, two silvers and a red. And of course, as I said, I take a red and silver because I always take two beads first with my break stitch. I take a red and a silver. And you see here, I already have two thread bridges. And when I make expanding break stitch, as I told you, I'm doing now expanding break stitch, I always go through the first thread bridge. I pull this thread so this thread bridge is not losing up. And I go here. And then what I do is that I go through this silver bead that is closer to the center of my work. Then according to my pattern that you will also see here, I have a silver and a red and those I'm adding one by one. So first I take a silver. Then I will take a red one. And I'm adding those one by one. Just like this. Okay, now what I like is to flip my work because I'm right-handed and it's easier for me to go in this direction. But if you prefer to don't flip it. Okay, so now in my next row I have a red, a silver, a red, a silver and a red. And I start with a red and a silver as I told you. Always with two beads. Okay. I pull this thread and go through the first thread bridge like this. Go through the one that's closer to the center of my work. Then if you remember it was a red under the next thread bridge. Then a silver under the next thread bridge. Only the first two I take together and then I add all the others one by one. And I take the last and when I make expanding brick stitch, I always, or increasing brick stitch, I always go through the last thread bridge twice. So the last two I add at one thread bridge, okay? Now I will flip my work and it comes the next row, which is a red, a silver, two reds, a silver and a red. Again, a red. A silver first thread bridge go through the one that's closer to the center and now I will show you faster two, two reds and then a silver and a red Okay, then what I like is to flip. Next row I will also show you faster. And it is a red, five silvers and a red.
okay and I have this row ready and I'll flip my work and here guys I have only one row of increasing brick stitch and it's, it consists of a red two silvers two reds two silvers and a red okay and I'll show this row faster Okay, and I'm ready with this row and what I like is to flip and now guys pay attention it comes the decreasing bridge stitch what this means it means that here you have less beads in this row than you had in the previous row and how you're going to do this uh, just when you take the first two beads which here are a red and a silver you will go under the second thread bridge and after that add this red one okay so what i said i'm taking a red and a silver and because i decrease i don't go through the first thread bridge here between the red and the silver but i go here under this thread bridge where my two silvers are okay i go like this and i have these two beads attached here Again, I go through the one that's closer to the center of my work, but this time I have an additional reinforcement. I go back through this red bead one more time, then through this silver one more time because I want to make them stay next to each other in a better shape. I'm making a new thread pad for this. They are stretching because they are going here under the second thread bridge. That's why I need to reinforce. Okay, so now I take one red bead and I just go under the next thread bridge, bridge as usual. And you see here in my pattern I have a gap. But before I come to this part, I want to finish this part with the two red beads here. Okay, so what I do, I flip my work because you know I prefer to go in this direction. I take two red beads and here I have one thread bridge and two thread bridges. And I go through the second thread bridge because as I told you, I am decreasing the beads. Here I have one, two, three, and here I have two. It means that I decrease and the same way as before, I will go one more time around those beads here. Okay. Now I have this part here finished and I want to transfer to this one. And in order to do this, I make a thread repositioning. I go through all of those three red beads in this direction. Okay, like this. Then I turn like this and go through the next red one. And from here on guys, I flip. And here I will start another row with four beads here with three beads sorry here i have one two three four beads and above them i will make a row of three beads okay this one a red a silver and a red okay i'll show you faster this time go under the second thread bridge reinforce And I'm adding one red bead okay now I will flip and I will add the last two beads 
of this row and because I decrease I take two and I go under the second thread bridge here go like this and reinforce okay guys and now I'm not cutting this thread because I will use it later instead I will move my needle to this shorter part of my work okay I will put it here Okay, and now my thread is at the shorter thread that uh, is my tail thread in fact and what I want to do is not make a knot but go through the beads inside my work a lot of times and also I will be zigzagging through my beads Okay, I think you got the idea. I will do this a lot of times zigzagging and without making a knot, I will cut my thread. Okay, now I have this. And now guys, what I want to do is repeat these steps, make another two hearts the same way I showed you, but with the next hearts I'm making, I will inverse the colors. So silver will be the border and red will be the center it's not obligatory you could do them absolutely the same way but i just uh, like inversing the colors if you don't don't worry okay see you in a while now guys you see i have absolutely the same heart but with inversed colors and what i'm going to do here is show you how to start your bracelet okay so here guys i'm exiting out of this bead that's sticking out the most i just repositioned my thread to this point when i was making the second heart if you forgot how i'm doing this just rewind the video make it up to here and meet me okay so here what i want to do is make a loop where i will attach my clasp okay here i take five of those beautiful silver beads and I go back like this in circle and what I'm doing here is reinforcing my work okay and when i'm ready with the reinforcement i will make one single knot okay make a loop and go once through the loop i usually saw double knot or half hitch knot where i go twice through this loop but here i don't want to do this because it's a really fine beads and the knot will show and now guys i could go and zigzag with my thread several times as i showed you before and when i'm ready i will cut it as close as possible to my work okay so i have the first heart of my bracelet ready this will be the beginning of my bracelet and now i'm going to take another heart like this similar one okay and what i want to do is attach it to this one in this direction and in order to do this i will go through some beads here i will go through this bead that's sticking out the most and now you see i count three beads from this one that's sticking out the most one two three and i want to attach it here to this one that's sticking out the most okay the third one from here one two three i'm attaching to this one that's sticking out the most of my other element okay one two three this is the third one 
I'm going through it just like this. And then I go back through the same bead that's sticking out the most of my first element. So I'm making something like a loop between those beads here. And I will continue the same way with the next bead. Okay, I'm going through the second one that's on my way. Pull. Then I go back through this one here, which is the second of my previous element. And I gently pull. Then I go through the third one and I also reinforce it. Just like this. Then, as I showed you before, you don't need to make knots here with this work. But instead, you could just go through the beads in this direction, zigzagging through them. But you should go several times and through as many beads as you can. Okay. And when you're ready with the zigzagging, you cut your thread. Okay. So now, guys, I will make another heart like this and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and off camera, I did another heart like this. And I want to attach it here at this point the same way I showed you in a while. I'm not going to be showing you one more time because I think you got the idea. And if you reverse the video, uh, you will see how I'm doing it and then make this color pattern with the red at the edge and attach it here and so on and so on and when you have enough elements to wrap it around your wrist just be back and I'll show you the result okay guys and when I continued beading this is what I have I have here 14 elements attached you could make less or more whatever you like and here what I want to do is to make another loop of beads okay I take five again I go back here just like this and what I want to do is reinforce then make a small knot zigzag through my work and cut my thread and I won't make you watch me one more time doing it but I'll be back in a while to show you how to attach your clock guys and I'm here where my bracelet is almost finished and I just need to attach my clasp okay and how I do this I take this jump ring I put it here then I take my clasp put it on and then I squeeze back my work in the same direction as I open it and now guys I have my clasp attached and I will repeat it from the other side and I'll be back okay guys and now my valentine's heart bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make new tutorials usually two times a week and you will be inspired often you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. You will also find a link to my second channel 
with the fast clips and you could also check it out and if you like subscribe thank you so much for watching bye bye from me